Hi, I'm Indanam. Here's an Opt6 quick tip for creating delayed envelopes. Here I've got a basic patch with operator 2 modulating operator 1. And the one I want to delay is operator 3, which is also modulating operator 1. Now unfortunately the OP6's envelopes only have linear attacks. So if you want to make it sound like an operator is popping up out of nowhere, you've got to get a bit creative. To start with, turn up the operator that you'd like to delay and turn up its sustain for now. Go to the third page of that operator's level and turn up the LFO1 modulation fully. Now we need to set the LFO. Open the mod menu and go to LFO1. Change its wave shape to square so that its audio signal cuts in and out rather than gradually. Now we want the envelope to be off for a short period of time and then on for a long time. So to keep it on for a long time, turn the speed of the LFO down to the minimum. But we want the envelope to start off for a short time. So we need to move the start point of the wave to a bit earlier when the square is in its off state. The phase is basically the starting point, so turn that down to negative one. Turn the key sync to voice so that every note you play triggers a new delay. You can make the delay longer by turning the phase down even further. Or you can make it faster by turning up the LFO speed. But don't turn up the speed too much because that will reduce the amount of time that the envelope is on. Now we can go back to operator 3's envelope and make it fit nicely with the LFO. Remember, the LFO isn't starting the envelope. The envelope and LFO run at the same time. The LFO just stops or lets the signal through. If you're going for a plucky envelope, adjust the attack until it sounds like the operator is at peak volume when the LFO lets it through. Alright, it's sounding pretty good now, but now that we've got that LFO set up, we may as well use it to trigger some effects when the delayed envelope starts. It's very quick and easy to set up using the virtual patch menu. We'll send LFO1 to effects2 in my case, and it will turn up the grain shifter mix from zero. That's it for this Op6 quick tip. Hopefully you found this helpful or intriguing. And if you did, give me a like. And uh, of course, hit subscribe for more synthy goodness. Have a good day and I'll see you later. Thank you.